Hey everyone! Welcome to the video. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if you're gonna go for a minute there. I don't know. When we I... asked the question, the delay <laughs> who's gonna Dolby win? may well have timed that perfectly. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. I don't think so. You wanna start? No, we're good. Um, okay. We are doing magic I'm things, good. and I will zoom out a little bit. You can see my perspective. Uh, we have. Well, this is video three in the little uh, mirrored and block. Magic the Gathering little mini tournament that we have been participating in, or that we created, I suppose. Obviously, we have uh, one, two, three, four rounds of games, matches, out of the way. Yeah. Four decks that have gone through, and we have four more to play with. That's what I was zoomed in on when we started. So I have a little theory related to this. Uh, the deck that I think that will win is the deck that doesn't. Uh, and the deck that I think that I'm excited for uh, doesn't necessarily win. I mean, your, doesn't necessarily lose. Is that your perception so, over the rounds so far? Well, I called Wicked Big would win the first round, because I was really excited. I thought it was going to have, you know, protection from I artifacts. it was going to be Wicked. Um, got steamrolled. Yeah. And then I thought uh, Megatog, definitely a winner. Mirror Matrix, definitely a winner. Um... And it turns out just every time so far I've been basically wrong. So who's going but, to... Who do you think's going to win? So who's going to lose? So I think... Who I think should win or would win is this Broodstar deck with affinity for artifacts. Because I think it's going to be lots of artifact affinity stuff. You say and I think that. I get these scary things about <laughs> Mirror Matrix where you think there's going to be lots of mirrors and there's not. But continue. And I think the Arcbound deck would be the other winner. Which, because I think they're the winners... They're going to be the ones that lose. Okay, so However, I'm much more green. excited for the other two decks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it's definitely your turn to toss the coin and decide, I believe. It is. Heads is usually the left option. Yeah. So, I will be playing the, the OP deck, deck. The one that I sus The losing deck that I think is the stronger one. And I'll flip to see who goes first. I Once. shall call Tails now. Everyone's probably sick of me saying this now, but this is a tabletop simulator. Uh, obviously, we have a table, and we are playing a. I guess it's a mod. It's from the workshop, so you can upload things to the workshop, images and things, and make decks, and it manages all the structures and the bits and pieces. Um, we could like make our own cards and upload our own card game if we wanted to. Like that's the level of thing you can put into it. Although, of course, designing the cards something well beyond uh sorry i didn't know if you won the toss or not it's your call okay your call i will play i was gonna say designing the cards is well beyond anything i can do because i am hopeless at being creative and drawing <laughs> and designing you doubt yourself things. i don't doubt myself it's fact sir all right i'll trust you it's not lack of self-confidence if it's true <laughs> Ugh. okay <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna play okay. green. Surprise. No. Uh, God, then fine. green decks. Yeah, sure. So I land, and then my turn. The hard part about this, uh, I might be able to... It's like, if I zoom in close enough that you can sort of realistically see the cards and what's going on, I can't quite get the pan of both decks. <laughs> So I never know how many yeah. cards you have in your hand because I just don't go and look all the time. I don't want to be hyperactive yeah. with the um, moving of the camera. So everyone gets to see yeah. from my angle. Let's have a look at what he played. Artifact land! Oh, no. Nah. Um, Alright, we're going to go red. We're going to play... Explorer. Okay. Okay. The um, delay is actually really good this time. It's been a bit patchy yeah. sometimes, especially in the evenings. Um, patch is hosting, but um, it's not just the 64. And that's why is it's a bit patchy at the moment. But um, it, really? I don't I think 66 the ping figure. really. Well, mine fluctuates. It's your move. I don't <laughs> think it matters oh. too much though. Like it, it seems to be independent of what that number is. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, um, so this is going to be an interesting turn. Play I'm going to pay two. Cost card. Nope. Play a lead and mirror. Play that for 
free because yeah. it's got affinity for artifacts yeah. and it costs three. Play that for free because it's got affinity for artifacts and it costs four. Um, this is ridiculous already. Yeah. I think I just concede. <laughs> <laughs> so the card, the deck that I thought was going to be ridiculous is. There was, there was going to be one. I didn't know where it was. It was going to be a modular or an artifact deck, and it was just going to steamroll. Because you just they're just too good. They would, th this whole set was built. I think they made one deck, and then they went, oh, now we need to find other stuff to do in Mirrod and Bugger. <laughs> um, what's he? 1-1. One, one. Oh, he can't do much. Uh, okay. Okay. Green... Tap four, play that guy. Another reason why I don't like regeneration. That's four for a two three. That is the most disgustingly expensive card. <laughs> and regeneration isn't even cheap. Anyway, it's your move. It's like compared to you who just played a two two for nothing. I had to pay a two three and pay four for it. It's just ridiculous. I radiate him. Yeah. Minus one, minus one for each artifact I control. Oh wow. Which That's... is currently six. Jeez. Uh, I swing for two and tap that to make it three. Three. This game's three, pretty much already over now. Uh, like, uh, there is yeah, this nothing, is an interest. Nothing I can do. I can't even survive long enough to like play anything that I have that's relevant. Well, if you had a um, Elder Lad that had bonus against artifacts, you'd be okay. If I had what? Say that again, sorry. So I can. One of the Elder Lad. The Teljulad all have, like, artifact protection. He's an exile, he doesn't count. <laughs> he got exiled and lost his ability. <laughs> yeah, he's got no pro artifact. Play land. I think that's one thing I'm allowed to do. <laughs> it's hard to, um... <laughs> i tell you why it takes so long. When I read the cards, normally I am um, in a monologue. Like, <laughs> while I'm, I talk myself through it in my head. But um, now that I am on voice, my natural is sort of to talk out aloud, <laughs> and I'm honestly having a hard time, like, in my head, say I'm counting the costs of things, I'm going, can I cut that cost three, and, and, and that's two, and I'm like, oh, you can see and hear everything I'm doing. <laughs> having this internal well, struggle. Well, if at any time, <laughs> if at any time you need me to, I can jump in with my one story about the Mirrodin block. That's alright, wait for now. Uh... Yeah, I've been saving it. Maybe I'll save it for the finale. I'm going to Magma Jet, which is probably one of the best cards to uh, come in this set, in terms of living beyond this set. Scry. Yeah, they did release that one again, didn't they, in uh, Theros? So this is how you did this, right? You go, but put those down, that's my hand, draw two. Alright. Mm. And then I get to put... One in my hand and one on the bottom of the library? You can choose to put any number of them on the bottom of your library, okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, hmm. Alright, you go to the bottom of the library. Does the other one go on top or to my hand? Rest on top in any order. I guess you have to go on top. And then the whole deck goes like that. Why don't you tell the audience what the cards were? Yeah, I'm sure. That'd be great. <laughs> I, I trust you implicitly. Uh, I didn't you trust your audience? Else. It's your turn. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna untap everything. Draw. Play a land. The only way to beat that. your deck is to basically hope you get too many just like this Talisman Dominance. Lead, leaden, leaden, leaden me, and you just literally like mana gain, and then I just weather the storm until you run out of cards, and then like hit back. I think it's the only way. I end my turn. Yay! I wonder what I'm going to draw, everyone. All right. The question is. Is it worth it? This is one of them. Do I go for broke? Wait, I know what I'm going to do. Alright. 
Let's play him. And tap six. And go with that guy. Your move. Hmm. Pretty sure your Sylvan Hunter only has one leg. <laughs> I don't know what creature he's well, supposed to I'll... be. What is the Silvok? Like a plant? End my turn. Uh, Silvoks were humans. Oh, uh, you had the Silvok, the Orog, yeah. the Moirok, the Noirok, and I can't remember what the red ones were. Hey, cool, that one's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, let's do this. What have I got? One, two, three, four. See, I have to count these things. So what if I go like that, and I play grab the reins and take control of your mirror? Mm-hmm. Are you looking at it? Do you want yeah, to move I am. Move no, no. I get him. I'm just going to take control of creature. Okay. And then I can tap it. <laughs> and then pay two to play that. Well, in response, yeah, I'm going to tap that and give uh, my lead and mirror plus one plus zero until end of turn. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> Plant. Um, and then I'm going to. Oh, I should have probably done something else, but oh, this is fine. I'm going to swing for that five. I will have to take that. All right, and I am my turn. You can have your thing back. Thank you. Untap. Raw. I probably didn't do that Untap. as cleanly as I should have either. Oh well. And I shall end my turn. Well, this is my chance. Draw good things, win good games. <laughs> okay. What do you got? One me. Well. 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 Swing with those two. They have trample now. Uh, I will take the five. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Now play him. Oh no. One, two, three. Oh, I have to. No, wait, I can't. Don't worry. Mm. It's bad. Yeah, that was the um, scry card. I was like, mm, I guess I should take that considering it's the theme of the deck with the things. Anyway, you'll go. Yeah. Alright. It's going to be the draw. end of the all-powerful deck. What the hell is going on? Well, and... <gasps> told you, man. The deck that I think is most powerful is the one that's going to lose. And the deck that, I'm most, that I think is going to be gimmicky and interesting. You know. It will be nice to anyway. at least win a game in Meriden. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Now I have to sack two lands. So see is like this is like now I've played this. This is the one track. Yeah. That I have to, to try and win. Uh. So go one, two, three. I think that's it. I'm gonna block that and buff him, so he does two damage. Then you take eleven. Uh huh. That's it. I had nothing. I pulled land. Oh. I had uh, six six cards that game, and um, oh, I hate that. That's as you can see, eight land. That's disgusting. Yeah, that only cost me two. Yeah, but but yeah, I had Ugh. six cards, six non-land cards, and eight land. Oh, and right on the bottom, there's my big guy. I could have was... snuck that if I had, <laughs> um. If I had taken your Mia, I could have cast the Cosmic Lava earlier. Um, I didn't think of that, though. I could have played it. I think I thought it was more expensive, and then I, I just got muddled. Anyway. Points of points. Whew. I'm so glad I dodged the damn Artifact Affinity deck. 
<laughs> well, now you've got to deal with the Arcbound Reclaimer deck. How do you know? I could be playing the Arcbound Reclaimer deck. Mmm, good luck. Yeah, that's got a lot of affinity. I really thought that was going to just steamroll. And then, yeah, just full hand. That yeah. was just amazing. I thought, okay, I can get the frog bite out on turn three. On turn two, sorry. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to just do some damage in this time. I, nope. thought, I thought with a bit of acceleration, I'd be fine in that deck. But then you threw out the affinity and it's like, whoa, I don't have anywhere near the acceleration that you do. <laughs> yeah, All right. it was super accelerating. Tails, so I am Sunburst. I seem to remember a mechanic called Sunburst. Is that the same? Yeah, that is the uh, mechanic is, in is question. It deals damage based on how many cards? No, no, it's based. <laughs> so it's um colors you have or something. <laughs> it's how many mana colors you have. You either get plus one plus one tokens or um charge counters based off how much mana you spend when you play the card. So, yeah, you Heads. flip the coin. Yay. Okay, you cool. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. Mm. Let's zoom in for the people at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That's definitely interesting. Tell me about it. Hmm. Once again, late at night, I'm reading things and they're just, just glossing over in my head. <laughs> You'll go. <laughs> Good, I need every advantage I can get. Play a land. Tap. Arcbound worker. Oh god. Here's a 1-1. No, you have the modular <laughs> deck. I'm Your up. turn. Alright. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind the Arcbound Worker. I just... Modular, it's... I don't know. Modular just gets out of, out of control in this set. Damn it. Well, we'll see. Damn it, patch. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Don't you accuse me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just, I don't... I haven't quite figured out what I'm supposed to do with yet, this yet, but not this in particular, this deck. But here's a start. So I'm gonna have two charge so counters. Yeah. Okay. And you'll move. Right. Draw. Play land. Play two. Sure. Play Vatopin Engineer. I can tap him to add two matter of any color. Um, mana pool. Spend it only to play artifact spells or activate her abilities of artifacts. And I shall swing for one. Ew, I don't really like that either. Alright, I'll take one. <laughs> End my turn. The, the problem. Uh, I can't really say anything. <sighs> wow. Sure, okay. you can. You just have to mute yourself on Dolby. <laughs> and you can say what you like to me. <laughs> uh, that's alright. Uh, I know what I could do, but it's like, is it worth doing that? I don't really know. Hmm. Okay, let's play this, just for something different. Oh, uh, okay. And I can do this and play that. Okay. And I can play that and play that. <laughs> so I have a lot of things that do this, but I don't know what to do with any of them yet. <laughs> it's your turn. Well, you're meant to play Sunburst cards. Um, I'm assuming I have some, like, this creature is XX when it comes into play with X Sunbursts. And I should hopefully be able to put five on it, but I don't know. <laughs> Gonna play A2 and play Neurok Familiar. When that enters the battlefield, I reveal the top card of my library. The artifact goes in my hand. Otherwise, graveyard. Gonna tap him and add two mana to my mana pool and play that. Knockdown Stinger. 
You can't. Oh, it's an artifact. Oh, this is so. Yep. Sh this is why I don't like these cards. It's so annoying. <laughs> so Everything modular is so lame. <laughs> Your turn. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What? What is this deja vu bullshit? I don't, the problem is, all these cards seem to do is, like, get me more cards or more mana. <laughs> well, yeah, you need to filter out all your cards and fetch your, um, Thunburst cards. you got to get your Scourge Manta, which is a five, five cost flyer, so Thunburst. Yeah. So you Let's can get up to five, round. five flyer on him. Let's go one, yep. one, and sack that. And then I will okay. get red mana, because I'm sure that'll be useful. Okay. And I draw a card. As you say, filter out all the stuff you don't want and get something useful. So then we go red, green, black, and play him. So he's three. Yep. He has cool art, by the way. Yeah. I like it. I don't really like the art <laughs> of your flying guy. I think it, it's like... I, apart from the fact that it looks ugly in the actual game, I don't really like the creature design. I yeah. get that the pin, the finger, the claws are like stinger, but then it's like it has like the stinger legs. It's like, come on, I, we get it. It's a stinger. You need to make every single part of it pointy. Are we doing the magic art critique hour? <laughs> <laughs> Just I don't really. It's not something I talk about much. Honestly, it's not something I pay a lot of attention to. But I was sort of like. My, I think my mirror looks kind of cool, sort of ro robotic, but... And then I was looking yeah. at the arc bounds, and, like, the arc bounds, I don't really like the look of them. They don't look sleek for, like, robots. I get that they're not probably meant to, but anyway. Yeah, your move. Anyway, I digress. Oh, wait. It's alright. <laughs> don't worry about it. Is it alright? Well, I... I am yeah, playing this deck. Just go. But I have a mm. thing now. A P2. Echoing Truth. Return that and all other permanents sharing its name to your hand. All of my sun touched mirrors. Yes. Then I pay four and play him. Um. There we go. And now I'm going to swing at you for two, three, four, five. So here's the problem. Like. I've played one creature, and now I'm just... I can't do anything, like... That okay. deck is just... It's not even, like, super quick, it just is too good. Am I go? Yep. At the end well, of I think turn, it's just your deck very much relies on having the right cards. Yeah, that, and that sucks. Whereas your deck is the opposite. Every card perfectly synergizes. All right, Perfect. let's try like this. The Nurok familiar threw me an island away. One, two, Throw. tap that and remove a counter for a color. That's how I do it, right? Yep. Yep. So let's say hi to this guy. Hello. Uh, good thing you used that card that you used. Because now I can go yep. one, two, tap that for red. Play him. Hey. Hmm. Alright. Your turn. I'm he's tap. flying. He's okay. Cool. He's flying. Did I land? And he's 2-2. Two, two. Alrighty. So I'm going to swing for 2 in the air. Okie dokie. Your turn. Untap. Draw. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do, indeed? Worth mentioning that Sunburst is like an extension of Domain. In many ways. It's just like a more consistent mechanic of Domain. 
Oh, I guess not really. Domain was basic land types you had. Yeah, it's a bit different. Ignore me. I'm just this is too easy chattering. to get multiple colors. I mean, it needed to be yeah. to be able to keep up with these massive artifact crazy <laughs> decks. What are you even complaining about? There's no Ravager. Uh, so that's now that untapped. is something to complain about. So let's take one of these off Prism, because I think that gets me get a okay. mana, right? Yeah. Two, three, yep. four. You can remove another from your Prism if you need to. No. So that's four colors. Okay. Yep. I play that. No, oh, no. One, two, three, And then, if I tap it and take a counter off it, I can yep. make your Arcbound Stinger neg one, neg one. Yep. Destroying it. I'll move counter over to him. Alright, that's okay. Let me move, spread them out so I can see how many there actually are there. Yep. What have I got left? Uh, two, those two, play this guy. <laughs> Hello. Hey. You're from the other deck. Yeah. And it's your turn. Again, I would have thought this deck would be dominant, but right now I'm not confident. Probably should be. Gonna pay five, play him. Wow. Yes, wow. 3 for a uh, 5 for a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, but that 3-3 three, three never leaves the game now unless you lose all your creatures. Like, that's what this, the power mm. of moduli isn't the cost of them coming in, it's the fact that that damage never leaves. Like, that hybrid. Uh, I swing for 3. Yeah, I'm going to block him. See, now you yep. get a creature bigger than anything I have. That's the power of modular. Oh, well, you could have let the damage go through. Yeah, but... Then I just keep getting slapped every turn. It's like eventually I have to <laughs> deal with it and something gets huge. And I can't prevent any of this modular stuff unless I sweep your whole creatures at any particular time. Anyway. Are you done? Yes, I am. Let's get a token on this thing. The problem is, right, this deck is... It's like too accelerated. I don't need every single piece of this... And I know you're probably going to say, yeah, but you won't always, but I think you probably will. I think there's so much acceleration in this. So we go one. No, I, I agree. These decks seem to be a little bit off the manner. So he's got four colors, because I can take blue okay. from that guy and red from that guy. Taking so long, just drawing all the damn tokens on everything. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna use his ability because all I have. To... No, because it'll kill him, won't it? Yeah, it will. He's a four-four. I wonder if you have the Arcbound Sunburst card. I need something. That's what I'm saying. I'm not <laughs> not getting it yet. Yeah, sort of a weird mechanic. I assume there's some sort of a big finisher or something in there. Yeah, that's what it's I mean. There's got to be something that tops this off, right? I just haven't figured out what it yeah. is yet. Well, anyway. Um... Is an artificer an artifact? No. No. It's like a occupation. <sighs> I think I'm gonna Good get thing right. is a smith a hammer. So Yeah, but a smith isn't called a hammerish or something. <laughs> hammer a hammer. <laughs> A woodcutter? Um, 
Like, what happens with my infused arrows when it's got nothing on it? Does it just sit there the rest of the game, doing nothing? Yes. Yes, it just sits there. Because I have no, like, any other way to generate tokens for anything. Maybe you've got a conduit. Conduits <laughs> at the start of each turn, or I think you tap them. I can't remember, one or the other. And you gave a charge counter, or a plus one, plus one counter, to target artifact. They were kind of neat. Uh, let's just... Just because I haven't got enough of these things on the field. <laughs> Your turn. Maybe you've got something big that's um, indestructible. Maybe. Where I land, I will swing for one in the air. Okay. And my turn. I okay. forgot to swing with him last turn. At the end of my turn, let's do this. And I'll tap that and that. Look at the top card of your library, you may put that card on the bottom of your library. I don't have anything in my hand, so I can just draw it. Uh, do I want to put that on the bottom of my library? Yes, I certainly do. That's an odd card, the fact that it doesn't just say scry one. Uh, it's not because the mech... Let me have a go. Oh, that was the last game. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> if it's a set thing. I wonder if they remade Magna Jet with Scry on it. I don't remember Scry being around at this point in time. No, no, Magna Jet always had Scry. Scry was definitely a Mirrodin mechanic. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Oh? oh? Well, I might as well do this. Uh, wrong button. Painful. <laughs> it's like again. Do I do I need all this? Really? Do I, do I? Do I? You know what I could do with like some actual like equipment artifacts? Something just to boost my creatures or something. Yeah. I know what I could do, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> That's the problem with this deck. It's like so much you could do. If you had anything that untapped artifacts, you could have a fun time. Sack that. Oh, sh sure. Search a library for basic land and put that into play tapped. Search. Let's have a look what's in my deck. <laughs> See what my win condition is. Mm. Well, I start up another game in another window. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I won't take that long. I'll pretty quickly recognize something that can win for me, I think. What was the thing you said I should be looking out for? Oh, no, I don't know. Okay, there's potential for things. I don't know. I was going to say, the, the longer your search goes, the better it is for me. Mm. The longer it means you take it to find something that can win. I think it suffice to say that Adept that you saw at the start of the game that was on top of the deck yep. I don't think that's representative of what the deck is No It's surely not going to win me the game by getting me more mana colours that's for certain I mean it had nice card art I guess Maybe She looks a little bit out of proportion <laughs> I mean not that that's saying a lot but <laughs> All right. I haven't seen her for a while uh, did that do anything? There we go. We can do that, right? Oh, hello. I get to play land. Uh, oh. Because it's my ball. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. You'll go. Wow, didn't you go first, and now you're behind in land? Yeah. Fluffy. Dude, I have more mana than you Your can turn. dream of. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Oh, I'm gonna tap this guy and get a thing. And then you I'm know what? Tap that guy and that guy to have a look at my card. I think they just assumed for Uncle Sunburst cards that you just have something that said sacrifice an artifact. Okay, that's gotta go away. Alright, my go. What? Tap, 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 tap. Draw. What? How did I not see this? I play a mountain. 
Okay. I didn't see that in my search. Why do I have a mountain? I oh, is that it? I don't need the <laughs> color fixing. Stop this. If I had anything that could move counters, I'd be laughing, but... Alas. Yeah. You'll go. It feels like you're one piece of the puzzle short, so to speak. How, Draw, like, these land. are, like, pre-constructed decks. So Swing they pick one, one the basic end. theme, and they, they do that. End right? my turn. How frightening does it seem to, when you look at something like Sunburst, and then you consider, like, a modular Sunburst deck? Like, how frightening would it be if I was, you know, stacking cards, or I could put more tokens on my Oracle, or I could get that flyer that we killed, the, um... I don't know, whatever this thing was. The Stinger, and put more, like... How frightening would that be to create, have a deck that could move 1-1 one, one counters or modular counters around and stuff? The combo yeah. strat would be frightening. Anyway, end of my turn. I gotta put another thing on that, because I don't know if I'll ever need them, but whatever. That sounds like you need Graft. I need a what? Graft, from Ravnica. Draft allowed you to move some counters around? Yeah, that, like something like that. I'm sure there must be things that do similar things in this block. I just don't know them. Okay. We can do that. So that goes to my top of my deck. And I... Draw it. And I... Tap. Two, three, four, five colors. Mm-hmm. And I play this guy, Parasite. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so he's... he's a minus one, minus one creature. Oh, what the hell? Tokens like exploded on me when I dropped them. Yeah, you can try and squish them all on, I guess. But then I can't read the text, it's hard. <laughs> Okay, I think I've got this. Good job. There so. we go. The physics in this engine isn't tops. It's, it's a little, uh... Yeah. It's not perfect, <laughs> right? It's close, but it's not quite right. No. You know what the other thing this deck could do with... is a bouncing card. If I had something to bounce that back to my hand, and the oracle and stuff, I could make that work, you know? Like if you had some sort of sunburst card that was bouncing as well. <laughs> bounce yeah. something equal to the mana you spend or something to that effect. Bounce my cards back in and get effects from them. Well, I'd love to help you with that. No. But I shouldn't. I don't think you will. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so here's my plan. Let's take two, two tokens okay. of this guy. To remove one token off your worker, Arcbound worker, like that, right? You following along? Yep. And then I'm going to attack with that guy. I block with my Vatican engineer. All right, then he dies. <laughs> End story. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. That was it. Was really exciting. T. He's a two-two. It's <laughs> a three-three. Mm -hmm. I know what you were doing. Boy, I killed a creature. It was exciting. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Show me what you got. How many cards do you have? Probably heaps. No, we're just like drawing from turn to turn. It was exciting. Again, folks, welcome to the amazing that is Mirrodin. I play Rust Elemental oh and swing for one in the air. And oh, end my I'm turn. I'm okay with that, because... Yeah. Because whatever. Alright. I gotta do all the things. You can do the token. Let's have a look at my next card. Decide if I want it. Alright, that one is a goodie. I only put it back because procedure, and I'll confuse myself. 
Whoops, what did I just do? I'm I have no so idea. Sorry, I'm giving cards to people. <laughs> I was gonna say, you didn't give me any cards. Here's another one. Ah, you turned it face up. It was always face up. I didn't even know what it was. Good. Uh, I. Caramba. Nine life. That's no good. Alright. You know what? I just have to do this. He can go away. Bye bye. Oh? Yeah. Okay. And I can scry. Draw. Draw. What is it? One. Any number in my gray. In my bottom of my library. And one on top of my library. Tough life, but you have to go. <laughs> hmm. Alright. I guess you're up. I'm gonna forget to do something soon because I have so many things that I could do, but oh well. What is the thing that gets me cards? For a card? Oh. A2? Is that Nora Familiar? Reel the top card? An artifact goes to my hand. No! Uh, I uh, that could have been powerful. I could do with one of them. Let me go and ow. find any artifact. Yes, please. I swing for one in the air. End my turn. That sucked. I'm not going to do the Dark Soul Pendant thing because I know what the thing is. You know what? These can just be my... This is my Meriden Core thing. Hmm. Draw card. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna tap that and remove yep. three counters. Okay. Yeah. To kill your. Arcbound Bruiser. Bam. See you later. Okay. And then, stop me if you've heard this one, I play something justice to destroy your Arcbound Worker. Bam. See you later, game. Scry 2. That one, bottom, that one, top. Now what do you got? Two damage, so I got like four turns to live. Time to go on the offensive. <laughs> or... This is tough. Tough choices. Many things to think about. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to swing. Whoops. Swing, swing, swing. So it's well, I'm going to take four, three, two. Yep. Lots. Total of what, nine? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to pay one. Let's find yep. something that I can pay one with. That guy. And take all these off. And draw two sure. cards. And sack him. Yep. That's like the best thing about him, is that he can attack and then do his ability. One. Especially with damage on the stack in those days. Wow, I legit have cards of every color. What is this? Well, you're running a sunburst deck. Oh my god, I just... I, uh, this is it? This is it. Wow, I've been waiting for a, this is it for like ten turns now. No, it's but that's what I mean. Like this deck isn't inherently bad. It just has so much 
growing and not enough pow. So I told you. Here's what I do. That's this the... is this is the thing. I was excited for the. I thought this deck was going to be the strong deck, and look at it. White. Look at it now. I haven't exactly played poorly. This deck's just run out of steam. So I've maybe forgotten to attack you in the air twice. Two, three. So you had blue. I just gonna make sure I get my mana right. So white, black, green, red, blue. Played that guy yep. for five. Yep, there he is. Yep. That's the one that's going to make sure I don't You got lose. four here. No, no, they're on my core. Oh, I they... need them. <laughs> I thought they were from your other guy, your Red Oracle. Here's me going, I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> Shh, that wasn't screwed up. <laughs> Alright, you're done. I think it was just safer to get a flyer on the field than... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This. Okay. Yeah. GG. Ah, uh, there it is. That's the one I thought. Your turn. Well, here it is. You've drawn all the good cards, and I have not. Well, to be fair, I had to go um, searching through half my deck to get them, but... Play a Rust Elemental and end my turn. Owie. Okay, so... I'm gonna... Do... I don't have any more ones to pay. That sucks. Can't do my Corsus thing. Uh, my Pendant thing. Dark Steel. So what does this thing say? At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one. Uh, damn, I sacrificed my guy. Could have put a charge counter. Could have put more counters on. I think that energy chamber is the thing that makes this all work. FYI. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got the freedom to do what you need to do. Well, just got to think about the best way. So this guy probably needs a touch <laughs> up. I mean, I mean, it's, yeah, okay. it should be easy, right? But it's just I'm trying to make sure I don't bail and that you slap me for six in the air and that I still have enough damage to go around. So that guy is 4-4, four, four, so let's swing with him. He's 2-2, two, two, so let's swing with him. And that's it. Okay, well, I blocked the 2-2 two, two and the 4-4. Four, four. That. And... Um, I don't think I can do anything with anything that he has. <laughs> what does that do? Remove a counter. Well, you don't have any counters anymore. Alright, that's it. He's gone. Bye bye. And you killed my Birdo. Yay. And okay, that was the trader Birdo that destroyed my reshape, which I really could have used on all this mana. Yeah, you definitely had an unfortunate event there. I could have grabbed a 7 cost artifact creature. White. And then these colors, and then that guy. He's 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Untap. Back that so Rust Elemental doesn't tap and hurt me. So there must be card. one card that lets me move tokens. Uh-oh. No. It's a 4-4 four, four first strike. 7. There is no uh-oh here. Um, end my turn. Yeah, well. I'm still having trouble finishing you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it's just a matter of waiting me out. Or bleeding me, whichever one. Oh, I can, you know what I'm going to do? It's just do this quickly and have a look at that card. Before I yeah, go for do it. the turn thing. What do I do with it? Can I turf it? Is that what I do? Yep, good. You can go away, I don't need you. I mean, all my cards are useful. What am I saying? Uh, I gotta do token things. I wanna put things on this, because I think that's the best way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do one orb. Pay one more, sack it. Let's get white, because white's always cool. Oh my god! Stop. 
my bad. Um. Kind of need more creatures. This sucks. I think I might pass <laughs> my turn there. Well, I can't. <laughs> okay. You know, you've got just as no, much it's okay. Chunk. Your turn. Untap. Do I have to sacrifice a creature? Backing the Arcbound to put all the tokens onto the Rust Elemental. Yep. So what is he now? God. He's an eight-eight. Wow. I think I just lost the game for not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know why my manner. Play him. Flyer. Uh, I swing for eight in the air. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. He says, hmm. I would recommend blocking. No, that's that's the the easy way out. <laughs> uh, that hurts so much. All right, I only have one blocker, so that literally just buys me one turn and wastes my five five creature. Yay. Yep, okay. I, I just lost the game because I didn't do anything last turn. Good, good job, me. I'm not gonna lie, you didn't deserve to win the di the game, but you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, end my turn. So angry. Bottom. Wow, wow, wow. This is all fluff. <sighs> yay. You freaking yay. Hmm. Well, I think... Oh, I get a token. So what we're going to do is put that on him. And then we're going to take four counters off him to draw three cards. Stop. Okay. Okay, that's just stupid. So we won't be doing that card. Let's play on land. I haven't done that for a while. But elf. I don't think this thing that I'm going to do will particularly help, but how do I want to do this? Hmm. Alright, let's tap him and take that off, and we can make that new rock familiar zero zero. 
Killed my butter. Mm -hmm. Don't believe me. If anyone watches this, okay. downvoted for Birdo killings. <laughs> you killed my Birdo. Um, I guess swing, swing, swing. It's not enough, but it's something. I will take the what six? Yes. Now, just because I know you, I'll let you reconsider if you really want to. I will take the six. Okay. I pay one, two, three, and I play that. Gives me five sunburst colors, and I pay two yep. and sack it to deal five damage to you. Okay, now Dan, <laughs> you were completely overthinking this. Start of your turn, get a counter on this infused arrows. Right. Tap, <clears throat> kill my Arcbound Stinger. Mm. That's it. Rust Elemental is dead. Oh, it doesn't. Tap you don't have any other artifacts. Okay. Yeah. I just and I would have had other artifact lands, I think. My bad. No. I, you were just you were overthinking it way too much. I had nothing. <laughs> I got there in the end. It's okay. <laughs> and my next three draws. Oh, there we go. That I'm been so nice. sorry to the rest of the world uh, that may or may not be watching this and how painful it was. Look at how bad this card is. Okay. Just yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, just I mean, yuck. for the mana cost. I get... Got well, six. It, it's either a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Look, it's either a 6-6 six, six, or you remove counters and do even more damage. But it's a lot of it's effort, right? Bad. You need five colors or it's not worth it. Like, five colors just to make it useful-ish. And then its ability is just so short-term. Ugly yeah. and short-term. Uh, well, as predicted, the decks that should have been the really strong decks were not. Because pre-made decks are apparently very hard to make. That was... I just couldn't quite get the math right in my head. Like I say, I overthought it, but... Yeah. You were. I just wasn't... I don't know, maybe it's just late. Well, I have Suncrusher. I thought that was like... That was the go-to card. Hmm. And you go, oh, it's well, expensive. Well, okay. Yeah, but I could have done it. I'm so, that it. seven mana reshape I could have done? Have a look. Oh, that card would have been amazing. If you got it, because you could have just handpicked whatever you needed. I'm sure you'd have had things. Well, that's the thing, right? All this deck really has a few other. Look, there it is. Look. Cards. Look. Remove a 1 1 counter from Suncrusher, return it to its owner's hand. That is. I told you all I needed was something to bounce, and then I'd be fine. Yeah, this is about all I could have really fetched with um, Reshape, and it probably would have gone to the Reclaimer, just so I could have tried to. Um, Bounce some creatures from my graveyard. Mm. Oh yeah, Archbound Reclaimer for sure. Oh definitely. That's, but that's, that's an amazing Still in there would have... But keep in mind, to reshape, I have to get rid of a creature. Pretty sure. Yeah, you have to sacrifice an artifact. Mm -hmm. And then, an artifact on top of that, right. all he does is put creatures from my graveyard onto my library. So that just means I'm drawing them rather yeah, but, than playing. But what it means is and that, that you keep modular in play. And you never run out of artifact creatures. Yeah. And you never lose that plus could... one plus one. That was the biggest problem. It's only because I managed to kill Until like the... three creatures in one turn that I got the counters off the table. Unless you kill the Reclaimer. And at the time, you did have the um, used spear. Yeah. Still, you would have had a better chance to get... it, it Again, you would have got more modular on the field anyway. It wouldn't have been bad. Yeah. Of those, it it all wouldn't those have been cards. bad, but it, I don't think it would have saved me. Maybe not. Anyway, so we have the next round all paved. Gosh. So was that all the decks that we thought were going to win didn't win in the end? You were exactly right? Yes, I was exactly right. Every deck that I would have picked as the winner was the loser. With the, maybe the exception of um, Special Forces. Nuts and Bolts. I kind of assumed... Not so bolts, yeah, I assumed the uh, Megatog deck would be amazing. See, I would have always picked the artifact-based deck. 
Well, it look doesn't look artifact based. It looks it's equipment nuts and based. Bolts. And I was like, well, yeah, but it's got equipment as like it, it's selling card. Yeah. It's like, yeah. why would you want equipment? Equipment a... was good in those days, I reckon. It had all sorts going for well, it. Well, I mean, it's still good depending on the equipment. Anyway, we should probably wrap that up and um, see what we're doing. But um, thanks to everyone for yeah. watching. Hope you guys don't mind putting up with us. And definitely, oh, I need Patch to host some of these and and have people watching that because, God, everyone watching me play is like tearing their hair out. Going, you're so bad at this set. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even play Magic: The Gathering? You're useless. And it's like, yeah, no, it doesn't help that I can't talk it through with people as well. <laughs> anyway, anything you want to say in parting? No, please come again. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll catch you guys later.